843 now. <laughs> it's never easy going through a divorce or deciding to end a marriage, but it's not impossible to overcome. A brand new book that's gaining popularity on Amazon provides resources and tools for anyone going through these circumstances. Joining us now, a friend of ours here uh, on the morning show, uh, Nicole Sodoma, a divorce attorney here in Charlotte. It's nice to have you with us. Thank you. It's been so long. It uh, has been a while now that we've gone through all the rebranding and everything here in the yes. studio. Welcome back. Thank um, you. Looking great. Last time you were on, you, you were not necessarily an author. I definitely was not an now author. Now you are. <laughs> and one of these days we're going to be saying New York Times bestselling author. Um, you just wrote, please uh, don't say you're sorry. We're talking about uh, divorce, which you know a lot about because you have been a divorce attorney for how long? 20 years. 20 years. Yes, 20 years. But what I experienced is having grown up in a family that was felt normal but was blended. Yeah. 20 years of being a divorce lawyer. And it wasn't until I got divorced that I had this new perception and realized that there were all of these things that my clients weren't telling me. Yeah. And there were all these things that I don't know that I was telling my clients. And lawyers typically don't tell their clients. So it was a great opportunity to um, sort of you know, pull back yeah. on some what of is, this. What a, what a difficult role reversal. Were, were you a good, were you a good client? Or I am a were terrible you... client. That does not surprise <laughs> really? you, does it? No, no. A terrible client. Why, why is that? Were, were you having to, did you find yourself wanting to uh, keep the legal hat on and, and going, wait a second, I'm, I'm the one going through this and I, and I got feelings and I got kids and this is hard. You have to be able to love your kids more than you dislike your spouse. Mm. You are always going to parent together. I mean, I think people forget that, that you might be leaving a relationship, but you're not leaving that person. And it's okay to not be great spouses and still be great parents, but it's going to take two people to make that happen. I, I was going through this book today, and by the way, I, I, I say it all the time, I should read more, I don't, I've been reading a lot of this book, I wish uh, I had this years ago, because I also went through a divorce uh, a long time ago, and this is super helpful, and y you go through, there's a lot of uh, advice, a lot of your storytelling, but in any relationship, I mean, how do you know, there, there's not a defined moment of when's the right time to either call it off, or to put more energy into trying to restore a marriage or a relationship. Well, I hope that when people read this book, it sends them, I'm a marriage-loving divorce attorney. I love the idea of marriage, and yeah. I have put back families together. Like, I, I love the idea mm. of marriage. So, and I had a, a close friend of mine say that she read the first half and called her husband and said, I just want you to know that I love you and I love our relationship. Aww. So the first half of it, you know, I divided it into three sections, mm -hmm. marriage, separation, and divorce. And so you really need to know what's ahead of you. And so I would hope that you would, while you're married, if you're contemplating separation, or, you know, remember, it takes two to say I do and one to say I don't. Right. So regardless of where you are in your relationship, if you're, if you're in a relationship, use your resources and, um, and make things right before they go wrong. So. And, and, it, and it's okay. There are a few tips that I pulled out uh, from her book that I was uh, going through. There is no perfect marriage. So just get rid of that idea. It's not always a Disney fairy tale story. You got to put a lot of work. Both of you have to put a lot of work into any kind of relationship. But how important did you find, uh, not even just in writing this book, but going through your own, uh, your own journey through divorce, right. to have a network of support with you? So and to have important. It not, not waiting until you're crying for help. Oh, so important. And it's likely that if you decide to move forward with separation and divorce, mm -hmm. your friends group might change. So, oh, yeah. you know, because you might need to carpool with different people or... People take sides. Yes, and people sometimes, unfortunately, feel like they need to take sides. Kids first, that's priority, and, uh, and know what to expect and use your resources, your friend groups. They're great online resources if you don't want to let people know. You know, that's all a personal preference. So. I, I've got to get to the title. So you're saying don't say you're sorry. When someone says, I'm going through a divorce or I've been divorced, your natural inclination is to go, oh, I'm so sorry. Doesn't that doesn't it make you just feel sad yeah, to hear does. people say? And you say, feel guilty if you're yes. the one going through it. And I want to get rid of the idea that there are victims in this process. So um, I want to come up with new things. How about, you know, uh, don't say you're sorry. Um, thank you for sharing. Or, mm. wow, that took a lot of courage to tell me that. Is there, can I bring you dinner? Uh, take you to a movie or have whatever you know yeah. we need to come with come up with new things it's it's not like divorce only happens to a few people yeah that's it, so it, true. unfortunately it happens to a lot of people and people don't like to talk about it so I'm glad you're speaking about it what was the hardest part about writing this book 
Oh my gosh, what was the hardest part about? Having to be honest about your own uh, life or, yeah. or what? Vulnerability is a, it's a hard thing. You know, I've spent 20 years listening to other people and, and I, um, I love lifting people up and leaving them better than I found them. And all of a sudden to talk about all of their stories and what I've learned and what I can share, it, it, was, it was a tough journey, but well worth it. Well, there are always chapters that we continue to write every single day, whether it's in this book or not. You recently got remarried not too long ago. Congratulations to you. Thank uh, you. I wish you all the best to success in the world. Thanks. A wonderful book. And people can find this where? Amazon, Barnes & Noble, all the bigs. They can go to NicoleSedoma.com, yeah. and we've got all the, all the hashtags, right? There you go. Make so. sure you've got a network of support. Uh, no matter what stage of relationship you're Absolutely. in, you can always use it. Congrats on being a... a Newly married again and, uh, and an author. Thanks. Appreciate you uh, coming on.